Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry for being absent with a long form videos for some time. I need a break because I had a qualification exam on my work. I need to confirm my position and it all went well. Thanks God. Thank you to all who was praying about me. And if you are not chasing me in Twitter or Instagram, please check description of this video and subscribe because in Instagram and in Twitter, I'm doing regular update what is going on in Ukraine and in my life. So guys, yeah, and during my short break, I did an exam. I did unsuccessful perm. I've done some questionable fashion choices. However, now I'm here and I want to talk with you about important things. Nem több pénzt kéne küldeni a háborúra, hanem meg kéne állítani a háborút és... You may know this, Paul. Yes, this Mr. Viktor Orban, the pain in my ass. Yes, bless his heart, guys. So the same guy who told Ukraine cannot defeat Russia on the battlefield and that Ukraine is financially is not existing. And he was criticizing all the financial aid that provided by US to us and also blocked the aid from European Union that they provided to us. Yes, guys. And also threatening to block negotiation of the Ukraine to enter the European Union. So because at his word, Kyiv regime is oppressing the Hungarian population that are living in Zakarpattia, guys. This is important because personally, I have been to this region. I have seen everything with my eyes. I have recorded a lot of footage for you, just for your judgment. So we could discuss and see together if Hungarian population have been oppressed. So let's go with me and check. It's all have started on my vacation and trip to hot springs of Berehova in the bus that has only one open hatch in the temperature of 100 Fahrenheit. Actually, Berehova is considered to be Hungarian capital of Ukraine and I have noticed it shortly after arriving. Actually, guys, no flow, no Uber, no bulls are that working in this district. So I'm just randomly sitting on this bench and waiting for the taxi. I have no map to track the driver so i will hope just he will arrive at 10 minutes hopefully you know because me and my bag will not survive this in the hotel we've stayed in tv has caught hungarian signal because the town Berehova is right near border and guess what we have seen on tv bella russian tv programs <laughs> Guys, first I've noticed is Hungarian names of the streets and institution, guys, and Hungarian flags. For me, it does not look like oppression, so let's go further. Since the major part of the district's population are Hungarians, traveling in Berehov district may feel like a broad in a way. Hungarian language, environment, traditions and architecture prevail here. So don't forget your Hungarian Facebook, you'll certainly need it to buy something. You know guys that I have a highest done on Google Foo and I did some googling and found that population in town Berehova we were living for one week with my mom. Uh, so it is 51% of population are Hungarian and only 40% of population are Ukrainians and all the rest of the population are Roma people. We have visited the Church of Exaltation of Holy Christ in Berehova, the central Catholic church that has opened more than 900 years ago. If you believe the ancient legends, then the church is connected with the founding of the city itself, because Berehova was allegedly built around it. All the mass and preaching was held in Hungarian language. At the beginning of 21st century, the external reconstruction of the shrine was carried out and the memorial plaque to the founder of the city, Herzog Lampert, was installed on the wall of the building. We also visited the liturgia and saw congregation members. Everyone were speaking Hungarian language. Another thing I noticed that people are speaking Hungarian language fluently and calmly and no one is against them. So for me it does not seem oppression at all. 
I've checked that in 2012 local deputies granted Hungarian the status of regional language. The city has a double name – Berevo Berevzas. This is evidenced by signs at the entrance of the city and some governmental institutions, educational institutions, etc. The names of most trade entrepreneur buildings also duplicated in two languages, and some contained only one language, and this language is Hungarian. In the private shops, employers sometimes do not speak any language except Hungarian, and in the villages such people are also found among employers of village consuls. Guys, and I wanted to take a small pause here and send my big hugs to all who supported Jane as a content creator. I have already sent you my small, small personal vlog about animals and horses. I hope you enjoy it. Please put the comments who have got it. And if in case, guys, you want to support Jane as a content creator, thank you so, so much. And the second, please proceed to description of this video and check my Buy Me A Coffee page. And every month you will receive personal, unique vlog from me. The local business owners and entrepreneurs are mostly bilingual because they need to offer services to the customers and customers need to understand them and be happy. It's interesting fact that local elderly people are speaking Russian mostly well. Hungarian children are speaking Ukrainian not so smooth like their grandparents speaking Russian though. In total, Berihova is a beautiful, small, cozy town, and I like its local people who were friendly with me, and Austria-Hungarian architecture in neo-baroque style. Roma and Gothic architecture also, secession style is my favorite. Berihova is also Ukrainian capital of wine and winemaking, and international wine festival was held there before the war, and they even have a museum of viticulture and winemaking, guys. It's worth saying that the feud between Ukraine and Hungary started since the independence of Ukraine. However, in 2015 it escalated during to new law about education. The matter is that one Berehovde district or Zakarpatia district, children of Hungarian minorities and people from ethnic roots who are Hungarians are studying in school where all subjects are on Hungarian language and this is okay. However, our government wanted kids to also study Ukrainian language as the main language. So you got me right, actually. Kids that are learning and receiving education in Berihova district or in all Zakarpatia are not speaking Ukrainian or speaking it very, very dire, you know, so, and because they are learning it twice a week as second foreign language and that's all. All the subject as math, physics or literature is in Hungarian language. And that is why this is the issue for the government, because they want these kids to be integrated into Ukrainian society and receive education in Ukraine, in uh, Ukrainian universities and get proper job, get a career in Ukraine. However, 90% of these children are leaving Ukraine after they graduate from school and they are going to Hungary to receive a master and bachelor's degree and get a job. <laughs> However, guys, the real purpose of this educational law of 2017 was the cancellation of Russian language in the school. Because you all know that war with Russia has been started not in 2022, but in 2014 with invasion in Donbass region. So, but even after the war, many private schools on the east, especially on the east in the center, were studying uh, subjects with children in Russian language. You know, guys, this law have not urged people to switch immediately to Ukrainian language in educational area. No, it not. Uh, students had a time to do it. Uh, it should be processed very slowly and switch should be done in 2020. However, due to the Orban's policy and due to the, this painful spot, he was pushing on all this time even before the war and influenced of the population who 
people are living and were living in Berehova district or for example Mukachevo. So it was the spot he was able to push on. Guys, it's okay to embrace your national identity. It's okay to speak your own language and go wherever country you like to get the education, to be happy and to live a fruitful life with Jesus. However, it's not fair to play the card of oppression where in reality it is not happening. Guys, believe me, I have a deep respect for all Ukrainians with Hungarian origin who are fighting on the front line now. And all Hungarians who are living in Ukraine that are helping in volunteer center and have pro-Ukrainian position. I just do not like the Orban's narrative and him being messing around of this oppression, you know, quote. Uh, I have been to Berekova. There is no any oppression. I have shown you the footage. You see that people are peacefully living here and speaking their own language and there is no any harm to embrace your national identity. Believe me guys, I deeply hope that one day Hungarian Ukrainians and Ukrainian Ukrainians who are living in the Karpatia district will soon understand who is the friend and who is the foe, and that some government of Hungary are the Moscow puppets. Guys, I'm sorry, but it's true. I know a lot of stories about Hungarian people that are living in Hungary and they are helping and they are supporting Ukraine. This means a word to me, guys. Thank you. If you are watching from Hungary and support Ukraine, my biggest, biggest appreciation to you and I'm sending you my love, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to check it. Put thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.